Indigenous people are the first or the original people of a given area whose traditions, language, and ways of living predates colonization. Because the definition formed through colonization, the indigenous peoples of Africa have long been defined as African and racialized as Black. While the indigenous identity is typically used in the context of the original peoples of the Americas and Oceania. Though the term indigenous can be used anywhere in the world for people whose ancestors are from the land in which they live. For decades, the prefix Afro has been used to name African heritage, and since the 1970s, it has been used alongside the term Native or Indigenous to express our full identities. Afro-Indigenous or Afro-Native people have a combination of these lineages, but there is no single definition. For example, I myself am both Afro-Ecuadorian from the African diaspora of Avia Yala, or so-called Latin America, and indigenous to the Cañari Nation of the South Andes of Ecuador. Both of my lineages and territories have astonishing stories of resilience and I am proud to be a union of the two. I grew up in a household with a father who identified himself as African American and a mother who identified herself as Shinnecock. They raised me to embrace both sides of my family lineage. I wasn't familiar with the term Afro-Indigenous so all my life I identified myself as to who I am from my family lineage. I'm a descendant of the Menominee Nation and Oneida Nation of Wisconsin. My maternal grandmother is an enrolled member of the United Nation, born on the Menominee Reservation. My father is African American, raised in Africa Town, the historic Mobile, Alabama, a community founded by the last Africans trafficked into the United States. Identifying as Afro-Indigenous allows me to honor both lineages, embracing their beauty and revolutionary spirit while challenging colonial constructs that sought to divide them. The term Afro-Indigenous or Afro-Native resonates deeply as someone with one Black parent, African American, and one Seminole parent Native American. It acknowledges both sides of my heritage and the history that connects them. Historians estimate that by 1860, up to 15% of people in nations including Cherokee, Seminole, and Choctaw were of African descent. Many Black American families in the United States have family oral histories of Indigenous heritage, including mine, but may not have formal records due to the legacy of enslavement. Many nations have made efforts to include Black Americans with Indigenous heritage, which has fostered healing within and between our communities. Our ancestors paved the way for our existence today. Many escape Africans found refuge with the Seminoles in Florida that created bonds that shaped our histories. And in many cases, there are shared histories of resisting colonial and white supremacist forces. In Abiyala, the African diaspora descendants of West Africans have historically allied with indigenous nations to resist colonization and foster unique cultural exchanges and communities, while indigenous nations for generations have created a strong sense of identity to their territories. Afro-indigenous peoples sometimes face challenges in having our full identities recognized and respected within and between communities. We should always honor how people self-identify rather than assuming someone is Afro-Indigenous or identifies with the term based upon how they look. As in all cases, just because we may have similar skin colors does not mean we have the same story. Afro-Native or Afro-Indigenous isn't just about fractions and percentages. It's about the lived experience, connections, community, and belonging. Together we honor the dual resistance of our ancestors, defending indigenous sovereignty, honoring histories and traditions, and protecting the land.